Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one only, and today we're going to be playing some more Dragon Blaze. And the patch notes are here, even though they are kind of, you know, latish. <laughs> but yeah, the 24th patch notes. Let's see what's all in it. Oh, two overlords are coming. Siegfried. And who else? Who else? Who else? Seize. Two characters that I probably won't be getting, but we're going to see their skills first before I actually decide. Alright, Sig. He's a warrior. He silences on his normal attacks. Um, his first skill removes a buff from an enemy, deals damage after a certain amount of time. The cast status of the skill is removed. Cast status? Oh, I guess it... Ah, hmm. Hold on, let's read more before I actually comment on that. Inflicts damage to nearby enemies. Neutralizes an enemy's formation effect. Oh! That could be really good in PvP then. Well, he is a PvP character if he has something dealing towards formation. Because not... Because no, like, actual enemies have formation. So, yeah, that's perfect for PvP. Sends the enemy into the air for three seconds. Oh. This ability does not miss, and its effects cannot be dispelled. That's really good. First off, you're destroying somebody's somebody's formation effect, which is pretty crucial, depending on which one you have. Two, you're knocking an enemy out of play for three seconds, which is long enough for you to deal some damage. And plus, you're moving somebody's buffs, of course, and dealing quite a bit of damage. So, Sig's first skill is not that bad. His second skill taunts one enemy. Well, just just one? Okay, cool. <laughs> the attacks of taunted enemy hits only Siegfried, nobody else. Ooh. Increases physical damage taunted. Increases the physical damage taunted enemies receive by 94%. Bosses can't be taunted. Their damage to receive is doubled. So definitely not have bad if you actually have like a really good physical team. So he actually is pretty good as a tank if you guys actually want it. He's actually pretty decent from his first and second skill. Not half bad. Especially since this is doubling the damage to bosses. You know, you have more access to all that. All right, his third skill. All allies gain immunity to physical damage. And physical damage is, uh, well, mm. Oh, and physical attack is increased. But only physical damage. That's, mm, that's kind of a questionable thing considering a lot of people run magic teams at the moment. With Sai and, um, what's his name? I can't remember the little shit's name. <laughs> so, yeah, that's... Hmm. But, hey, it's good against people who are running physical teams. I mean, you can choose who you want to fight. So, you can easily avoid a magic team if you want to. Alright, his first passive receives Vengeance by 2. When hit, returns 10% of the damage received to the enemies. Returns damage percent increases... Per vengeance you have we don't even know the cap of the vengeance yet increase the stamina by 150 percent upon receiving more than 35 percent portion of hp only only 35 percent of damage will be received okay nice nice his second passive increases all your member stamina by 120% and physical damage by 70%. Decreases all enemies attack by 25% and increases their damage received by 65%. So, so far from, from everything up to this point, he's really good at buffing a physical team if you guys are willing to put him in and give him a try 
that's actually not half bad at all. All right, his third passive. When vengeance become filled, remove buffs from one enemy and inflicts damage portion to the max of HP. Hmm. The skill never misses. After a certain amount of time, the cast status is removed from struck enemy. Eh. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Alright, his math skill is increasing the duration of defensive formation by 8 seconds, decreasing all enemies' evasion rate by 60% and their penetration damage. Not half bad. Alright, Seize, let's see what you have. I'm pretty sure you're magic, right? Yeah, you are. But this magic user is an Acha. Alright, she has the ability to increase all attacks in the place of her normal attacks. Wait, what? So does she like switch back and forth into it, or is that just pretty much all she can do? I'm curious now. My first skill does damage to one enemy, increases range damage by 25%, and this stacks up to two times. After a certain amount of time, the casting... Okay, what is up with this? The casting status of skills is removed from Strike Enemy. Like, I never heard them saying the casting status before. Now they all of a sudden they're using this. So she also has a resource mechanic, which is going to be interesting once we get down to down here. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> pretty sure that's where they're going to be. But anywho, our second skill inflicts damage on one enemy, increases all damage struck enemies received by 75%. Wait, what? That was word so weird. Increases all damage struck enemies. Okay, never mind. I, I just read it weird. Struck enemies also receive 120% damage every second. Oh my god. So basically, yeah, basically poison. Damage inflicted on bosses is tripled. This skill never misses and cannot be dispelled. All right. All right, I see. That's kind of pretty dangerous. I am kind of I am kind of interested to see the damage on bosses it does. All right. Our third skill. For every second until the fuel is depleted, inflict damage on all enemies and additional fixed damage on enemies covered in the oil oh, I thought it was going to synergize with something up here is this the oil they're talking about or is it like their own oil that this makes nah whatever increases magic damage received on struck enemies by 47% for 17 seconds, stacks up to 10 times. Damage inflicted on a boss is tripled, gains immunity upon skill use. Will is removed when skill ends. Okay, so it's, it's just it's basically it. Okay, so never mind. It's not like this oil or anything. It's this is his own skill. All right, passives. The first passive. Oh, I'm guessing this is the um, robot's name. Tank, Tanku? I can't really see that. Uh, well, you know, I'm just gonna call him Tan since I can't really <laughs> see all that. Requires fuel to remain active. Fill your cells. All right. So what does it do? Increases your dex by. 62% each. Each time the cell is filled, it stacks up to eight times. Chance to decrease the cooldown of your third skill by 5% when normal attacks land. That's actually. Hmm. That dex is definitely going to help. And the fact that it stacks up eight times is going to be a huge increase. Depending on how fast her cells refuel, we don't really know that yet. Alright. Increases your dex 
by 230% uh, and deals additional damage to bosses with 150% is her second passive. Nice, 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 nice. All right, third passive increases your range attacks by 120% and increases your party's damage by 70%. Your max skill is increases max fuel by 100%, so I guess it is 200 max. I guess you start out with 100 if I'm going by the picture here. Or maybe it goes up 300, I'm not sure. Wait. I mean, she's not glowing, but maybe that still is the right one since they're inside of the showcase. Increases your damage on bosses by, by 295% upon using your third skill. Stacks up to three times. The additional boss damage cannot be dispelled. Okay, nice. Wait, additional boss damage cannot be dispelled. Wait, what does that mean? I didn't even know you could dispel boss damage. But okay. Oh, increase. Oh, it's yourself. Oh, oh my god. We're not going to talk about it. I thought that. <laughs> I thought that was actually like dealing damage to the okay you know what we're not gonna talk about it logo change the new world boss is coming this world boss i'm gonna have to explain it well actually never mind it kind of explains itself but i've seen this one in the korean one so basically one of these sides you're gonna need a magic team and another side you're gonna need a physical team so you're gonna go in with at least 12 units I think or 10 whichever one but one side is gonna have physical one side is gonna have magic and you guys are supposed to literally just see how much damage you can do at that point um I don't think I have a <laughs> magic team ready for that but hell YOLO anywho title system revamps what is all the rest of the stuff? I guess we'll go down until we get to bug fixes and you guys can look at that yourself. Titles will now be acquired to your account rather than individual, individual characters. Okay, so that means... Okay. Um, should I show it now? Yeah. So that means instead of... just having these to each character is just gonna put up a full list and it's just gonna go to every last character so each time you come in here and if you want like a certain skill on a certain character you're gonna have to come in here and equip it and change it every time instead of having your characters individually show up I do have a lot of these I was thinking to myself I had way more than what I was thinking I have I had but apparently this was showing out but okay <laughs> so yeah basically no more individuals pretty much whole world account all right what else what else players will get new titles better than before by the reward and rankings and nightmare New titles can be used through seven day point one. Why why did I just sound like it had like a time limit before like the title expired? I don't know, I'm confused about that. Hope that isn't a thing. So setting titles on all characters will be changed to rookie through the maintenance. So once you so once the maintenance is over, go change your title just for your effects again players will not be able to get title rewards from tag arena and what what i'm puzzled what does this mean i don't like it i don't like change uh i question things whatever what ifs <laughs> i I uh, don't know how I feel about that. All right, Adventurers Sanctuary. Show the max number of medals you can get per day. 
thankfully that helps out a lot more so you can actually know how much you get your max cap instead of you know just working towards it randomly when you get over a thousand five hundred medals show completed in one wait, what oh per day i did not see that part inside the adventures in screen in instead of oh so we're just basically oh okay okay i see i'm pretty sure this all goes together all right i was kind of confused <laughs> i was really confused here i was like what the hell does that mean daily dungeons improved when a party is not fully optimized show party not optimized icon in daily dungeon screen okay Bond tapping retry for raids show purchase of the dark okay eh. mostly everybody carries that if they're gonna farm raids if you're not gonna farm raids anytime soon then I would recommend just buying it it's kind of a waste if you're not <laughs> if you're not gonna be farming so pretty much every new like season you know pretty much every new like story they add in then they'll probably be the right time to add time to buy those and this is just some minor bug fixes if you guys want to actually look at that the patch notes are in the game and that's pretty much it going a lot faster than i thought it would be but i'm gonna end it here guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the update uh tell me if you guys get the characters and how are you guys going to use them i'm pretty sure some people said that siegfried is comboed with uh chronos for some reason which would be pretty interesting. I definitely can't wait to see what's going to be going on. The characters that I'm after aren't here yet. I don't really care about these four or the two that are coming. But we're going to see where they all are placed. So by the time the next characters come out, I'm still going to have like a lot of essence just saved up. Should be fun as soon as the characters come out that I want and everybody was saying that um, ultimate that ultimate overlords come with um, C's does not seem that way seems like we still got a few more days to go before that happens so I give it until the end of this week maybe maybe you'll still come before the next two characters are released or the next character whichever one they're gonna choose so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Where it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. You're what you got to lose. You're what you